Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, I am presenting about the drug Esmalol. Coming to drug classification, Esmalol, as we all know, it is a cardioselective beta 1 blocker. It is also included in antiarrhythmic agent that is class 2. And it is very ultra short acting drug and the T half of the drug is less than 10 minutes and the action of the drug can be reverted within 15 to 20 minutes after stopping the infusion. Coming to mechanism of action, as we told, it is a beta 1 blocker that is uh, anti-adrenergic. So, we have, we know like there are three beta receptors, beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3. Beta 1 is first in heart. Heart, it may act in sinus node and it may cause increase in heart rate and it may it is in AV node, it increases the conduction velocity and in ventricles, it may increase the contractility. And beta 1 is also seen in uh, juxtaglomerular, juxtaglomerular cells uh, and it may cause increase in renin secretion. Beta 2 is seen in smooth muscles. In all smooth muscles, beta 2 is present and it may cause relaxation. And beta 3 is seen in fat cells. It may cause lipolysis and also in detrusor muscle, in bladder. So, as we told, uh, Esmalol is selective beta 1 antagonist. So, the uh, Esmalol will cause uh, hypotension and bradycardia. So, uh, on the basis of this, we will come to the uses and indications. It is mainly using hypertensive emergencies, acute aortic syndromes to reduce the BP and heart rate and to reduce the heart rate like in atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, SVT, ventricular tachycardia, thyroid storm, etc. It is an IV preparation that is the route is by IV and uh, the dosing, coming to dosing, it is initially given as a bolus dose and then followed by infusion. So, the adult dose is 250 to 500 microgram per kg, bolus over 1 minute and followed by continuous infusion of 25 to 50 microgram per kg per minute. This is the uh, adult dosage and uh, pediatric dosage is uh, 100 to 500 microgram per kg per minute. We usually give in pediatrics it is a uh, infusion. So, this is the dosing. So, coming to drug, drug dilution, if you take uh, a weight of 60 kg, uh, the minimum dose that is 25 microgram, if you take, it will come uh, nearly about 90 mg per hour. So, uh, this is coming as vials that is 10 ml containing 100 mg, 10 ml 100 mg. So, either we can give this is uh, for uh, 60 kg, we will use 90 mg per hour. So, either we can use 10 ml per hour, 10 ml per hour or we can in, uh, use that uh, 5 vials can be included that is it will be 50 ml and then it will become 500 mg and it may, uh, it can be uh, diluted in NS and then given in a infusion pump. So, this is regarding the uh, dosing and setting up an infusion. Now, coming to precautions, precautions anaphylactic reactions are there and local reactions that is uh, it may extravasate. So, it uh, the drug should be used uh, uh, infused through large veins and it should be uh, not used through butterfly cannulas and then hyperkalemia, hypotension, conduction abnormalities and in diabetes mellitus that is all beta blockers uh, should be used with caution in diabetes mellitus because uh, in if there is hypoglycemia, the signs and symptoms may be masked. So, uh, Esmerol also should be used in precaution. 
and then uh, this um, in with the caution in pheochromocytoma that is all beta blockers that is uh, it should be using and we initially should use an alpha blocker initially then only we should use a beta blocker then coming to contraindications contraindications are uh, like hypersensitivity and uh, uh, severe sinus bradycardia and there if there is any underlying conduction blocks are there uh, and decompensated cardiac failure as well all is contraindicated coming to complications complications are like we can uh, divide into system wise first is cvs cvs it may cause hypotension bradycardia and uh, peripheral ischemia coming to cns it may cause dizziness drowsiness and coming to git it is can be caused by nausea vomiting and then local site reactions so this is all about esmolol thank you